vegetables are bad for you, cardio is terrible for you, and I feel hungry, I feel terrible and lethargic. We've got 500,000 different ways we can approach a diet. What are the best diets to follow? My name is Harry Cox and I am the owner of Club Q, which is a private personal training gym in central London. I myself am a personal trainer. A lot of my clients are consuming a lot of information on social media with regards to fitness, nutrition, how they can get the best physique possible. The nature of social media means that these statements that hold the most bravado, that are the most outrageous, are usually the ones they're seeing. Things that are saying vegetables are bad for you, cardio is terrible for you. All of these things that conventionally we have perceived to be actually quite good and healthy practices are now being kind of brandished as bad and terrible. And I spend a lot of my time explaining to them and distilling down the information that they're consuming and saying, here are the things you actually need to focus on and here are things that maybe are less important for you. All of this is gonna be my own opinion based on the years of experience I have training both myself and working with normal people on a day-to-day -day basis and helping them achieve their goals. So without further ado, the first thing I've got is how long does it take to see results once you start exercising? I never show my clients their progress photos until at least eight weeks. However, what I tell them to focus on is how do you feel? Because most often you feel the benefits long before you see them. And actually you'll start to see them in the mirror long before you can see them in the comparison photos as well. So I tell my clients, focus on how you're feeling in those first eight weeks. Are you getting better sleep? Are you feeling better throughout the day? Are you feeling more energized throughout the day? Maybe you just feel a little less watery because that's a huge one. Once people drop the calories, drop the carbs a little bit at the beginning, just a little bit of water pulls off and you'll also have, hopefully, be weighing yourself so that you can see those metrics change as well. So in terms of how long does it actually take to see results, I always say eight weeks minimum if you're doing a photo by photo comparison. However, I would always encourage people to look on an even longer time horizon than that. 12, 16, 20, 24 weeks before seeing really, really significant changes. So the second most Googled question is supposedly, what are the best diets to follow? Now the cliche answer here is the one that you can stick to for the longest duration. And this is completely true. We've got 500,000 different ways we can approach a diet. At the end of the day, we need to focus on key principles. What are the main things we need to focus on? And really, once you distill it all down, it comes down to calorie balance. What is the easiest way for you to stick yourself in a negative calorie balance if your goal is to lose body fat? For some of my clients, a lot of my clients in fact, find it's beneficial to intermittent fast. A lot of my clients find it's easier to just focus on cutting out food groups, which is where a diet like ketogenic diet might work. A lot of my clients will find it easiest if they just focused on eating whole foods, single ingredient foods, which is where something like paleo comes in. So all of these labeled diets are all very effective and they all kind of work towards the same principle. A lot of what I do with my coaching is having that back and forth conversation with the client Maybe we try fasting and they just say to me, do you know what, Harry, you know, I feel so hungry in the morning. And then when I get to lunch, it leads me to overeating and I feel hungry. I feel terrible and lethargic. It's like, cool, then intermittent fasting isn't for you. You need to kind of trial and error all of these things. And I do encourage people to do that. If you feel like keto might be good for you, give it a go. You might find you absolutely love a ketogenic diet because it means you get to eat all of your favorite foods. However, equally, you might be tortured by the fact that you can't eat carbohydrates. In terms of the best diet for you, it's whatever essentially allows you to stick to the principle of calories in and calories out. And we're gonna do one more question, which is supposedly the third most Google question, which is what exercises will help you lose weight? And I suppose the answer is all of the exercises. Exercises have the intention of elevating your heart rate for the most part. If your heart rate is elevated, you're going to be burning more calories. If you're burning more calories than you are eating, then you are going to lose weight. You should exercise for all the other myriad of health benefits as well. Improved cardiovascular fitness, improved bone density, 
uh, better quality of life. All of these other things should kind of be your main focus when it comes to the training aspect. And I always advise people to focus on the nutrition side because that's the easiest variable to manipulate when it comes to actually trying to lose body weight. So this is the first episode of this concept. I hope that simplified a few concepts for you. That is my goal here. There's so much information out there, particularly with social media now. How can I distill that down into a few core principles that you can just hold true and stick to to make your fitness journey a lot more simple? If you enjoyed this, I'm going to be producing more of this content. Please hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.